Okay, so my name is Bidad and I've been uh, building a lot of stuff uh, for a long time, kind of exploring different aspects of the world that I think is interesting. And so, um, once I learned about how our perception was working, and I thought it would be really awesome to start experiencing the world in new ways. So like, I wanted to pick up stuff in the real world, convert it to something digital, and then present it to myself and have my body stuff translate it. And so I've been interested in this like digital, physical interaction for a while. And Little Bits came out with the core modular synth bits. Uh, you have os uh, os oscillators, you have envelopes, you have um, random bits. And I decided this is a perfect time to start um, exploring the interactions between Little Bits, the real world, digital, physical, digital, and then back to physical again, and then just mashing them up. So I've been playing at Little Bits uh, this January 2014 exploring all of these interactions. Little Bits came out with the Korg synth bits, and I got super excited about taking them and turning them into a more robust musical experience. I make a lot of music on my iPad. I have a really good time um, playing with a lot of different apps. And one of the things that I like to do is try to interface between Little Bits and the rest of my music making tools. And so, um, what we made is this <clears throat> A sequencer that operates under similar principles to player pianos, and you have this keeping time. What we have inside of this thing is a strip of LEDs on a bar, and right underneath it is a bunch of light triggers. So the light triggers are, li are looking up, and they're seeing like airplanes flying over the sun, and a shadow suddenly falls over, and they're like, ah! And every time that, that happens, it triggers. And so you'll see over here, the LEDs indicate when a dark spot of one of those like birds is flying above the sun creating a shadow. And so those are going into the um, oscillators, uh, and so we can actually change those sounds. And so, now it's playing three different sounds um, for these uh, over here. And you can see as I speed up the motor, the drums go quicker, and so does the uh, synthesizers. And uh, so you have three different modules. You have the synthesizer, so you can change what each node does. And you can play with the rest of the little bits, synth modules, delay, random, noise. And then you have the thing that's playing my iPad. So to replace my finger, we have a pipe. This is, in fact, a pipe. Um, and a capacitive, uh, or it, it adds capacitance to the circuit. And so there's little bits of conductive foam at the ends of each servo. And this clock trigger over here is coming into a bunch of logic bits with a bunch of latches. So if you take out one of the latches, it changes how often the snare hits. And uh, it's really neat because the entirety of this drum beat is based on digital logic that are running a bunch of servos that hit my, um, uh, my iPad in time to the paper scroll, which is ridiculous and awesome. And so, uh, I hope this gets you thinking a little bit more creatively about how to use little bits, how to interface between little bits, other music making tools, uh, maybe even a real guitar, maybe a real drum, because you hit a drum with a little bit in time. Uh, here's a challenge for the viewers. Replace this with your computer screen and put the sensors that are in here, all those light triggers, up against your monitor and have it sequencing not only oscillators, but stuff happening on your computer and on your iPad and in the rest of the world. <laughs>